Hey guys, welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to discuss on how to connect SSH in QEMU. So let's get started. To begin with, SSH is not available in any Linux distro. For us to use it, we need to install the package. So let's start. To install the package, we need to head over to our menu and search for terminal. To update our system, just type sudo apt hyphen get update. Enter your password, then hit enter. Next, let us install now the SSH server. From here, type sudo apt install open ssh hyphen server. Then hit enter. Select yes. Hit enter. Next, let's clear this up. At this point here, we need to activate the SSH. And to do that, let us type the following. Then hit enter. At this point here, our SSH was already enabled. And to verify the status, we need to type the following. To verify the status, check this active session here. If it is running, it means that your SSH is fully loaded and actively running in this machine. Also, at this point here, you can see the port used for SSH. Next, before we test our SSH to our host, we need to get first the IP address. To know our IP address, let's head back to our terminal. Let's clear this up. From here, if you are in Debian, just type IP address. Then from here, you can see the IP address used in this machine. Or if you prefer the IP config, this also do, but for some machine, it is not available. To fix this problem, we need to install the package. Just type sudo apt install net hyphen tools hyphen y then hit enter enter your password and there you go next to test if the ip config is working let's clear this up
As you can see, still not found. For some cases, you need to type in this manner. And there you go. Same goes. This is the IP address of the current machine. And this is the IP that we're going to use in our SSH. Before we begin calling the SSH outside the machine, unlike other virtual machine, QEMU will only allow if you set up a protocol that powers the SSH session. For that to work, we need to turn off the virtual machine and configure the PowerShell that we called earlier. So let's start. Before we begin with our code, let us examine first the additional two line. In this section here, this is the original code line. Now, for our SSH to take effect, we need to add this additional two code line. The first line indicates the port forwarding from your machine to your host. At this point here, we forward the port 22 to port 10022 with the TCP protocol. Next, we assign the NetNIC as our network communication to our network. All right, let's begin. From our PowerShell, let us paste the two additional lines. Once done, hit enter. All right, let's log in. At this point, our machine is ready. And to test our SSH, let us head back to our host and try to communicate from this machine. So let's start. To call our SSH, we can use either PowerShell or Command Prompt. From our line, type the following. From here, we need to specify the SSH space the username at localhost space hyphen p or simply known as the port and the port that we assign which is the 10022 then hit enter since this is our first time we need to select or type yes then hit enter enter your machine's password and there you go besides command prompt and powershell we can also use any other apps that support ssh like this app called patty this also support ssh and if this is your first time if you are in this section, just apply the, the information like the local host and the port. Now make sure you select the SSH 
then click open. Once open, it will lead you to this terminal. Then from here, log in your credentials. And there you go. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and please like and share to notify for any video just like this. Cheers.